Thanks, Brandon. Well, last week we kicked off round two of Hopman's Haunts. 23 ABC Callan Hopman is taking us on some spine chilling adventures with a spooky segment throughout October. And this week she investigated the tunnels of underneath East Bakersfield High School with local ghost hunter Missy Bennett. So this is the basement at East High, and as you may or may not know, East High was built in 1938. So we're talking, you know, World War II era, and we have tunnels that will take us to different parts of campus. So we'll go down the corner, uh, around the corner, and we have to climb up a little bit. So what equipment are we using tonight? So I didn't bring very much tonight because it's a small space, and so uh, what I decided to bring as the Ghost Hunter's best friend is the uh, digital voice recorder. But I also brought my K2 meter. It's detecting that electromagnetic magnetic field and it lets us know that something is there. And then the last thing that I brought is um, my infrared camera. So with all the students and just throughout the years that sometimes that energy just gets trapped and so it's just that residual energy. So there have been claims that if you're here at night and you're walking past the old gymnasium you'll hear the loud roar of the crowd and cheers and you go to open the door to see what event is going on and there's nobody in there. So we've got the K2 meter on the ground and it's far enough away from this electrical piping that it's at the first level which is normal and then we've got the digital voice recorder going so we'll do a little bit of an EVP session and um, see if we can get anything to respond. If there's anybody down here in the tunnels with us can you let us know that you're here? This is a pretty old school so I'd imagine if you're here you have some connection or attachment to it. Did you used to work here? Were you a student? So you'll listen back later and then, um, you know, hopefully we get some responses. That's, that's the hard part. You don't actually get to hear it right up, you know, mm -hmm. off the get. It's the most um, bizarre experience when you hear yourself talking and you know there's nobody around you or you, you're aware of the sounds that are around you at least. So, um, and then all of a sudden you hear a response to your question. I mean, it just, I got goosebumps thinking about it. So what would you say we did or did not find today? Well, I don't think we caught anything that was obvious to us at the moment. And, um, you know, unfortunately, paranormal is not always very cooperative, but we do still have digital voice <laughs> recordings to listen to, and hopefully we'll get some responses to our questions. Um, but other than that, I think the scariest thing we saw down here this week was uh, this guy this here. This guy, he's definitely getting us in the spirit of things, <laughs> spirit of spooky Halloween month. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for taking us on this little investigation. It was spooky no matter what. And definitely be tuned for more Hobman's Haunts segments throughout the month of October. Happy almost Halloween. And with Halloween right around the corner, a few organizations are planning to celebrate in a safe way.